Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's manicure is so special and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. My dear client is getting married and wants a classic French tip to match her beautiful dress. The key to a beautiful French manicure is of course the tips. Therefore, I will need to shape her nails quite a bit and use some product, but we will be leaving as much natural length as possible. In the meantime, I'm taking down the prior coating. As I was shaping her nails with my nail file, I couldn't help but notice just how cute her natural nails are. Further, I'm filing a little bit on top for adhesion of the new product and then continuing to our cleanup. Then I'm dehydrating her nails, applying a primer and a thin layer of a base coat. For our extensions today, we're using poly gel. And since I have a whole assortment of different pinky poly gels, we decided to test them first and see which one she liked the most. My client went with this beautiful pink shade. This poly gel is from a Russian company, but a great equivalent would be the poly gel for model lens. I really love their gel polishes and products, so for anyone who's interested, I've got an Amazon link for them in the description box below. My client's index fingers now has grown out a little to the side, which I hadn't even noticed until applying the poly gel. So all I need to do is take a tiny bit of poly gel and place it right there where it's needed. Then we're left with a lovely and even nail. After everything is cured, I'm taking my nail file to create a smooth, even, and beautiful tip. Then with a thin carbide bit, I'm passing through the cuticle in order to smoothen out the transition. I'll also be using this bit to take down the thickness from underneath, which built up from evening out the free edge. Another important part is to buff the nail on top right after filing and right before our design. By doing this step, we're getting rid of any marks from filing, leaving everything nice and smooth. I think a French tip is a beautiful choice for a wedding, however, there are some brides who prefer a little color. And what about you guys? How did you do your nails for your wedding? I personally did my nails in a camouflage gel with a little sparkle. Today I'll be completing the French tip with this wonderful beveled brush and a white gel paint. Your smile line should start from the nail's point of growth, and the smile line should be as thin as possible. Then I connect this to the tip's center. I've had a lot of practice creating French tips with a beveled brush. It's now my favorite way to create a beautiful French tip, and it's also quite simple once you get the hang of it. 
choosing the right brush for your French tip also depends on how thick you want the smile line to be. For a wider French tip, for example, you could use a big, rounder brush and then a thin brush for the finishing details. One nail is finished and looks beautiful. Now for the tricky part, which is recreating the same smile line on her other nails. However, as for her ring nails, we'll be doing something a little different. With a thin brush and the same white gel paint, I'm starting off by drawing decorative circles. Then I'm adding a few more circles within those circles and some small lines. This design is a pattern from the beautiful lace that's on her wedding dress. My client wanted to incorporate something from her dress and her manicure and I thought that this would be the perfect touch. Now, just for the final top coat. I'm coating her nails in a glossy top coat. I will also leave a link in the description box below for one of my favorite top coats. My client was so happy with her nails and I think they turned out stunning. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.